Good morning, YouTube. This is Josh over here at American AF Dumpster Rentals in Dallas. Hope everybody is having an awesome week. Today, I want to talk on this video, I want to talk a little bit about the Rolly Skate system. Um, to be honest with you, I was a little bit skeptical on Rolly Skates, and it's, it's very simple. And the reason being is because I have yet to damage anybody's driveway with my roll-off dumpsters. Um, with my hook lift and my roll-offs, uh, I have nothing but newer, newer cans. I've never bought used cans uh, or dumpsters just because, for the most part, the, the prices of buying new is almost as good as, you know, uh, almost as good as sometimes even better than some of these used prices that are out there. So uh, I have always bought new, which means my wheels always roll on the cans. And, and when you set the dumpsters down, you set them super lightly uh, and it just rolls with a can. It doesn't even leave a scratch. Um, maybe sometimes if a rock gets caught under a wheel, it'll leave, it'll slide the rock and leave a little bit of a chalk mark. But that just, you know, brushes off or whatever. You can use your shoe or whatever and, and kick it off and it's gone. Um, however, since I have had the Rolly Skates, I have used them as an upgrade option on the website. I did talk to DRS. Uh, which is my software company for those of you guys that don't know who DRS is. It's Dumpster, Dumpster Rental Systems uh, and they provide the entire back end of my company basically. Um, it provides my management, my scheduling, my dispatching, my online bookings and also my website. So I did give them a call and I said, hey, um, I want to start offering roller skates but I want to offer it as an upgrade. Is that something that you guys can do? And they said, absolutely. Um, so in my booking process, when somebody books either online or, you know, they're sent a quote or whatever, they have the option in the booking process, meaning honestly, the best time to target a customer for any kind of upsells is usually when their wallet's already open is what I have learned over the years, right? So when they're already ready to do business with you, that is the best time to try to, um, you know, upsell any products or any anything that they might want at that time not beforehand and never usually after it's usually during the booking process so drs was able to build in a, a an extra step in my booking process that allows and it says a little bit of something about you know what the roller skate is it's a driveway protection system now i probably wouldn't have offered this as an upgrade if i only used blocks of wood it just doesn't look right you know uh, charging the customer an extra $30 or whatever it may be. That's what I charge uh, 25 or 30 um, I wouldn't feel right charging that just using a scrap piece of wood and throwing it under the wheels However, because this system actually costs money uh, And it's a you know, it's an upgraded system to protection protecting their driveway um, They have the option to do so or not. I don't push it on anybody. I don't ask them twice It's just a one-time question uh, on in the in the booking process of whether or not they want to excuse me add roller skates to their package and you know it's been a couple months now so I, I decided to give it a test and, and run it a couple months and I I am actually surprised at the number of people who have paid for an upgrade I have had currently uh, uh, as in two months now I have had about five bookings of the Rolly Skates upgraded package. Um, and that's pretty substantial, only because I was on vacation for part of a March, so I didn't take a lot of online bookings, I didn't sell, sell it, and I don't sell it over the phone, it's literally only people that book online. So I would say that's probably about a 50% uh, of people that book online so far. Now I'll do an update later on down the year and kind of give it better numbers. But about 50%, let's say even 30% uh, of online, but it's about 50% for me because now I don't get that many online bookings, um, actually want to pay for the upgrade. Now, I haven't added it to my spiel when I'm selling people over the phone, uh, but if this many people are doing it just from online, if I were to try to start selling it over the phone, I can only imagine how many people would actually want to pay for it uh, over the phone because, you know, I can explain to them that, you know, it is a driveway protection system to where their driveway will not be scratched. 
I'm not saying that they will. It will be. I'm just saying it's added protection. That's all it is. Um, and in my eyes, in my eyes, honestly, like I said, I've been kind of a skeptic only because I have yet to damage anyone's driveway. However, perception is reality, right? And if these customers perceive that these dumpsters, even though they're 10 or 15, 20, 25 yard dumpsters are smaller, they're not big, heavy construction dumpsters. We're not putting concrete in them or anything like that. We're putting usually household uh, trash or like a little bit of light construction debris. But if these customers perceive that to be there, there to be a possibility of damage and they care about the driveway, it's a new poor driveway, it's an asphalt driveway, whatever it may be, uh, then it's up to them whether they want to pay the extra upgraded fee or not. I'm not pushing it down their throats, and uh, and it is. It is an added layer of protection. The dumpster does not even touch their driveway. So, is it a win in my book? Absolutely. I think so. If it's something that I can offer as an upgrade, if it'll eventually pay for itself, and then it'll be nothing but 100% profit, it does require a little bit of extra labor to get in and out of the truck, especially when you know you're in a hook lift which the whole point of having a hook lift for the most part is you don't have to get in and out so often you should always check your surroundings check your door locks when you go to pick it up but other than that um you really shouldn't have to get in and out so much it does require you to get out you know two times one for the rear wheels and then another time for the front if you want to add the front pads which honestly you probably should so absolutely it's definitely a win in my book simply because of the fact that it gives the customer an extra sense of protection for their driveway and it puts a little bit more cash which makes the cans a little bit more profitable in my pocket um, so it's got my stamp of approval uh, Rolly Skates JC Clark is a guy to talk to I believe it's rollyskates.com uh, super nice individual I have felt guilty because I've been against it for so long uh, and 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 it's not about what I feel I need. It's about what the customers tell me that they need. And if these customers want it, I'm going to give it to them. Uh, and that's just basically it. I hope you guys find this video interesting. I hope you like it. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. If you do buy some rolly skates, make sure you tell JC I sent you. I don't get any commission from this. He's not a sponsor of the page. So, uh, JC, if you want to become a sponsor, let me know. But for the most part, uh, I just want to offer services to my customers and share it with you guys and give you guys a truthful, honest opinion of it. Yeah, if you could tell in the first video, I didn't really say too much about it, only because I was testing it out. Now I've tested it uh, for a couple months. There's a couple little things I don't like that you might want to know about before you get involved or before you order it. Um, you will have to drill your own hole into this into this um, hardware. That was kind of disappointing, although I understand because everybody's truck is different, where you're gonna mount it is completely different. So I was able to take two bolts from my frame and reuse those bolts, or I had to buy longer bolts, but reuse those holes, and I was able to attach my roller skate to that. The other little concerning thing was uh, JC and Rolly Skates does ask or does uh, suggest that we weld the bottom plate to the stand. I have yet to do that. I don't want to lose it. I do want to weld it. It's just in, I don't have a weld shop. I don't have a you know my own welder. Uh, I guess I would have to sand it down or something like that in order to weld it and then repaint it. Um, for that, I might just use like uh, like that instant weld on the bolt and the nut like the, the lock, liquid locks or whatever it's called. But those are two things that you might want to think about or you might have to consider before you order it. Other than that though, it's a solid uh, setup. It's a solid stand. It's very well built. Um, the pads do kind of rotate or shift a little bit on the stand. That I don't like. I wish I had like an extra little pad or something in the back so it kind of stays still. But other than that, uh, it's a quality product. Uh, JC hats off to you. You built a, a good system. Uh, good, Good product and uh and yeah again it's got my stamp of approval so uh, if you guys uh like this video make sure you like subscribe smash the notification bell if you haven't uh subscribed to this channel please do so because we are almost at one 
million views on this channel that's absolutely insane and i have nothing but thanks and love and appreciation for all you guys for watching this channel so until next time we'll see you on the next one